Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and this is my December, January haul. So I have quite a few books to talk to you about today, so I'm going to try to make them quick as possible so that we don't so that this video isn't super long. Um, I haven't counted them, so I don't exactly know how many there are. All I know is I have this massive stack over here, and they're also in no particular order. So I'm just gonna grab the first thing I see, and that'll be how we do this. So without further ado, let's get into the actual books. So the first book I have for today is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Powell Preto. And this is a fantasy story that follows a girl who wants to become a Phoenix Riders, a Phoenix Rider, and Phoenixes, Phoenix Riders have been kind of gone for like as long as she can remember, but it's all she ever wanted to do. And the crown and kind of the people in the kingdom kind of look down upon them and kind of don't want them around. They're seen as like people that are gonna do bad things basically, but she just wants to become a Phoenix Rider and she disguises herself as a boy to train with the Phoenix Riders that are still around and to become one and there's all these politics and battles and stuff that happens and it just sounds like a great time so I picked this one up. Also this cover is just gorgeous, the bird is amazing, the wings all the way around. Gorgeous book, hopefully an amazing story as well. So the next book I have for today is a romance and that is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. So this book kind of goes along with Anna and the French Kiss, even though they're not a series, it's kind of like a series, like there's a couple books in it, but they're not the same people at all, it's kind of weird. But this one follows a girl named Lola, whose life is perfect all the way down to her super cute punk boyfriend, but one day her neighbors that have been gone for a while move back in and she realizes that she still has some feelings that she's had forever since she was little for the boy next door. And so this just sounds like such a cute, fun little romance. I loved Anna and the French Kiss. I liked the writing in it. So hopefully I enjoy this one just as much. The third book I picked up in the months of December or January is Prodigy by Marie Lu. So this is book two in the Legend series. It has three books in it. When I was younger, I read books one and two, Legend and this one, but I never read the third book and I am super excited to finally read it. And so I figured I needed to reread the first two. So I went ahead and picked up the second one. This series follows two POVs, June and Day. De June is the like, bright shining star of the Republic. She is set, she's really young, but she is set on this path to be like basically the highest military commander and the brightest person ever in their government. And Day is a fiery rebel thief that's just running around like crazy and is the, like the most wanted person in the Republic. And some circumstances happen and they meet and there's just so much tension and just banter and wittiness and snarkiness between the two of them. It's just such a fun series and it delves into battles and politics and a little bit of romance and friendship and family bonds and it's just it's a great series. I remember loving it and I'm excited to get to reread it so I picked this one up over these two months. The next book I picked up during these months is also another reread for me and that is Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. This is book two in the Percy Jackson series and it follows a group of friends, mainly Percy Jackson, who are all teenagers and they are demigods. So they are the kids of the Greek gods and goddesses and they have to basically go on all these different quests to try to save the world as they know it. And yeah, it's just super fun, super great. If you haven't read this series, it is a classic children's fantasy series. I think, like personally, I think it's one of the most well-known children's fantasy series. And it's a great way to start <laughs> fantasy or children's fantasy, kind of like middle grade almost, I think it'd be middle grade or maybe YA, but probably just middle grade. But yeah, definitely if you are into fantasy and you haven't read this, it is a, one of the basic 
ones that I would say, so I highly recommend going to pick it up. So the next book that I picked up was Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This is a retelling of the classic Cinderella story following a girl who just who enters this competition to play the female star in her dad's favorite movie and she is trying to win the part. Of course her stepsisters come into play and are also trying to win the part but she ends up meeting the male actor and as classic Cinderella stories go they fall in love. So yeah it just sounds super cute. Of course it's gonna be a little bit geeky and nerdy since the title is Geekerella and it just sounds like a fun short little romance and I'm excited to read this one. The next book I have to talk about today is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. So I love Morgan Matson's writing. I've read about three of her other books and I'm excited to get to another one. This one follows a girl whose father has been diagnosed with stage four cancer and he has been given only the summer to live. And so in a hope of like bonding, their family takes a trip back to their old summer cabin at this lake that they haven't been to in years. And she spends a the summer there with her family and she has to, she re-meets where she runs into her old childhood best friend and her old childhood crush who she hasn't talked to and they have to deal with all those unresolved feelings from back when they were children and she might still be crushing on her old crush and there's just a lot of things that I'm hoping to get from this like the family dynamics between her and her dad and what they're going through but also a little bit of fun romance in Morgan Matson's style with her and her old crush and I'm just excited to feel all the feelings with this one. The next book to talk about today is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page and honestly I can't really tell you what this is about other than what the summary says, so I'm just going to read you what the back of this book says because it is what sold me. So it says, I did not ask for any, I did not ask for any of this. I did not ask to be some kind of hero, but when your whole life gets swept up by a tornado, taking you with it, you have no choice but to go along, you know? Sure, I've read the books, I've seen the movies, but I never expected Oz to look like this. A place where good witches can't be trusted and wicked witches just might be the good guys. A place where even the yellow brick road is crumbling. What happened? Dorothy. My name is Amy Gum and I'm the other girl from Kansas. I've been recruited by the Revolutionary Order of the Wicked and I've been given a mission. Remove the Tin Woodman's heart, steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the Lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. So this sounds like such an interesting book and I am just so excited to hear this story from the classic tales of Oz or hear this story based on Wizard of Oz and just, oh, it just sounds like such a fun time and I'm so ready to read this at some point. So the next, so the next book I have to talk about is The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. So this is a historical fiction that takes place in Amsterdam in the 1940s and we follow a girl who is working um, as a smuggler of like food and stuff to all these different people and one day one of her clients begs her to find something for her and she thinks it's gonna be like money or food or something like that but the old woman wants her to find this Jewish girl that she has been hiding who has mysteriously disappeared and she our main character needs to find her before the Nazis do. And so this just sounds like such a gripping novel and I'm excited to read another historical fiction by Monica Hesse because I have loved her books in the past. So the next book I am the next book I picked up during these past few months is another romance. This one is called Love and Vandalism by Lori Boyle Crompton. So this one sounds like so much fun. It follows a girl who is the town's mysterious graffiti artist who keeps painting lions over everything. And if her dad finds out who is the head policeman in this town, she would probably be disowned and it would be awful. So one day the town's resident bad boy catches her in the act and says that he will not turn her in if she promises to show him around the town. And so she does this and he, she realizes that he is making her feel some emotions that she doesn't really want to feel <laughs> and that she hasn't felt in a long time. 
and it just sounds like such an adorable little time and I'm so excited. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of witty banter between the two of these people and some sarcasticness and I'm just excited for this romance. The next book the next book I had to talk about today was actually my January book of the month. So that is The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. So this is a romance following a woman who is, her family wants her to get married and she just wants to please them, but she's not in love with anybody. So she makes a fake relationship with her old childhood crush and yeah. And then we also follow the boy, who is her old childhood crush, who figures out that in order to get his grandfather's inheritance, he must be married. And he figures out that an easy option for this marriage is his old... It's his... is his best friend's little sister, who is also the same woman. So they need each other and they want to do a fake relationship and so they end up going on a series of fake dates to make everybody else think that they actually are dating and they even up getting even end up getting fake engaged and they make this plan so that they won't fall in love but they will still convince everybody that they are in love and the plan kind of falls apart and they might just be falling in love. So yeah, I am excited to read this one. I feel like this book haul is really romance heavy, but that's okay. We love the romance. So yeah, we have another one to add to our shelves and also it's a really pretty cover. Like this purple color is beautiful and I'm excited to get to read this one. So the next books that I have to talk about are two actually and I'm putting them together because they are from the same series and that is book four and five in the Lockwood & Co series which are The Creeping Shadow and The Empty Grave. So this is a series following a girl named Lucy who wants to be a ghost hunter. And nobody will really take her because she's a girl until she stumbles upon Lockwood and George, who are also teenagers and they are one of the most lucrative ghost hunting businesses in the city. And they allow her to join their team. And it is just the most fun adventures and they they just have so much fun there's such great like banter between all of them and it's i remember loving reading the first two when i was in about middle school and i have recently picked up the third one it's on my shelf somewhere for me to read there it is the third one is called the hollow boy it's right there i haven't read it yet but as soon as i do i will have the fourth and fifth one as well to be able to pick up after that The next book I have to talk about today is Never After the Thirteenth Fairy by Melissa de la Cruz. This sounds like so much fun. It is a middle grade novel following a girl who is like, who's a reader and she loves this one book series that she's been reading forever and the author is taking forever to bring out the next book and she's just really upset because it's just not there and it's not there and they're supposed to have gotten it and they haven't got it. Well, one day she's walking down the street and the hero of this book series steps out of nowhere and tells her that she needs to come with him to the world that this book series takes place in in order to save it so that the 13th so that the next book can be written. And she of course grows with him because who wouldn't if your favorite book character steps out of nowhere and tells you to go into the book with him like duh you're gonna go but this just sounds like so much fun it sounds like a story that every reader wants like doesn't every reader want to be able to step into a book with their favorite book character in order to save that world like that just sounds like such a fun time and i'm excited to see it actually done in this book the next book I have to talk about today is White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism by Robin D'Angelo. Um, this is a nonfiction book that I picked up whenever... This is a nonfiction book that delves into the topic of racism in America and what it is and why it is and I'm just excited to read this one. And the next book that I have to talk about today 
is A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This follows a boy whose brother has been shot in gang violence and he has been killed and he, the little brother, decides that he wants to go seek revenge and shoot this other person. So he takes his brother's gun and he gets in the elevator and on his journey down the elevator he is, all these people get in and off the elevator with him and they all tell him a different kind of story and he really has to decide if revenge is what he wants and what he really needs to do and i'm pretty sure it's told yeah it is this book is told in verse and it's supposed to just be beautiful and emotional and heart-wrenching and i'm excited to get to read this one so the next book that i picked up was The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. So this follows a girl who wakes up on her 10th birthday and her parents are completely frightened of her enough to where they lock her in the garage and call the police. So she has survived this plague or like illness that has wiped out basically all the children and the world except for some of them and the ones that it has not wiped out that they were able to survive this have come out of it with special abilities and hers is obviously a dangerous one and so the police take her and bring her to the one of the government's kind of like rehabilitation camps for these kids and she ends up escaping and joins up with this other group of children that will escape from another camp and they're all trying to find like the one safe area for the kids to go and so they are trying they're on this mission to try to like get to safety and stay away from the government and it just sounds like such a great book to read i did watch the movie a long time ago actually and i enjoyed it so i'm excited to read the book we're getting pretty close to the end guys we only have three books left but the next one i have talked to you about is sleeping giants by sylvian or Sylvain Nouvelle. This is a story about a little girl who is riding her bike in the woods and she falls into a hole and lands in the open palm of this ginormous robot that's underground. And fast forward many years and she is now a scientist working to figure out what these robots are, why they're here, what they want, and if they're dangerous. And yeah, obviously sci-fi it is a series there's more books in it it's pretty short but i am excited it sounds so intriguing and i'm ready to read this and the second to last book that i have to talk about today is cast the origins of our discontents by isabel wilkerson so this is a non-fiction book that talks about race and it actually shows it in comparison to nazi germany and the um, caste system in India and it talks about race as a hidden caste system in America that's been going on for centuries that we are either blind to or just don't talk about as much and yeah it is sounds like it's super good um, but yeah I'm excited to get to read this one and the final book that I have to discuss today is another romance. What a way to end a video that was a lot of romances, but with another romance. And that is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. So this is a romance following a girl who moves to her older sister's hometown in order to help her sister after she got in a car accident and watch her niece who's in high school and or middle school. I think her niece is in middle school. And she gets roped into doing, participating in the small town's annual renaissance fair where she meets the fair's leader who is a stuck-up snob and they hate each other and their characters in the renaissance fair love each other. <coughs> so it has a lot of, I'm hoping it's going to have a lot of like those contrasting dynamics and it's going to be really fun to watch that play out. But yeah, it just sounds like such a good time. Renaissance fairs, romance, what more could you want? So yeah, I'm excited to get to read this one. Okay guys, so that was it. In total we had 19 books, so it was a pretty large haul. I think it's not my largest that I've done, but it still was pretty decently sized. But yeah, those were all of the books. As usual, all of these books will be linked down below in the description. So if you are interested in any of them, please go check them out. And I will also be linking my 
my past hauls down in the description as well. That playlist will be down there. So if you are interested in seeing other books that I have picked up throughout the past year, those will be down there as well. Go check them out at your discretion if you choose to. And yeah, if you liked and enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. Um, let me know down below some things you've been picking up, some things you've been reading, as I would love to know and I love to chat with you guys. But yeah, that is all I have for this video, so I will see you soon in another one. Bye!